Hey guys, this is Georgie Gamers. I hope everyone is doing great and this is a video I wanted to do for a very long time now. Engine Jumpnet is live, public access, so everyone can join the Jumpnet, mint tokens, trade tokens, wonderful. So what I'm going to show you today is how to mint your own tokens. It's very easy on the Jumpnet. Here is the engine Twitter. Uh, there is a, the article they released for the news. We also had a write up here on the gamers. Great news, everything wonderful, and we are going to mint some tokens. So let's begin with it. Uh, first things first, you will have to sign up for engine platform. This one is the link cloud.engine.io. Make an account, make sure you install your engine wallet on your smartphone, whether you have iOS or Android and back up your 12 words. Definitely don't forget to back up your words. And once you have done everything, hit create a new project. So let's name this test eGamers. This is a test project. What is the project? Before you, before you mint a non-fungible token, you have to create a project. Let's go to Nginx, for example. Here you can see all the projects. This is the main image of each project. For example, if we click on Microsoft, this is the main image. And if you go on Assets, these are tokens. For example, the Mentor NFT has this image. So not to be confused with a non-fungible, this is it, all right? So let's use an image, for example, we're gonna use the JumpNet image. It won't fit, but it's okay since we are going to delete this. Remember, the project image and the non-fungible token image should be 1000 white, 1000 hate. It should be a rectangle. So let's click Save Changes. Project created, all right? Now, as you can see, here it says, please link your wallet. We have to link the cloud platform and the specific project with our engine wallet. So download engine wallet app. I assume you have already done this. And you see this code here? You go to your engine wallet and click linked projects. Click the button which says link project. Select your wallet and either type the code or scan the QR code here. Okay. Now we have successfully linked the project. You click refresh and here it is. So at this stage, the process is very easy. You have to fund your wallet with ENG coins and some Ethereum for only the first transaction. Now what you do is go to ENG, click on it, click the three dots and then move to JumpNet. That is, finish the transaction and you will receive GENG back. Now let's go create a new asset. Go assets, click create this one. And let's go one by one asset name. So that was the previous name. So we're going to name this one eGamers IO Astroman. We're going to use our logo, the astronaut. So we want this to be fungible or non fungible. Now you can mint both fungible and non-fungible tokens. Uh, fungibles tend to be a bit more cheap if I'm not mistaken. Uh, non-fungibles need an extra bugging. So we have the maximum total supply. How much tokens would you like to be in existence forever? Um, let's go for, I don't know, 5,000 maybe and supply model. Now we have some options here. It can be fixed, right? It can be settable. Settable allows you 
to edit after minting. Okay. So we don't want this. Fixed means 5,000. Sellable, we don't want this. Infinite, it's infinite. Collapsing means that every time someone melt the token, the supply gets lower. When it's fixed, you can mint more until you reach again the 5,000 mark. Annual value and annual percentage. These ones mean that annual value is the token supply may increase by a certain number of tokens per annum. And the other one is by percentage. So we don't want anything of this. Uh, here is the amount of G, E and G we are going to back each asset with. So the minimum we can use is this one. If, for example, I say I want to mint one token, the minimum is 0 0.5. All right, and we're going to use minimum backing, which means 35 ENG, which is around um, 55, 60 bucks right now, something like this. So we are going to back the whole collection of 5,000 NFTs with 35 ENG. Transferable, we can set it to always transferable, temporary transferable and bound to address. We don't want this to bound, we want this to be transferable. GENG returned on asset melt. That's a percentage value. So we're going to do like 50%. If some of you would like to melt the token and get the ENG, 50% of that ENG will come back to you, the creator, or in this particular case, to me. Uh, so transfer fee type, we can set a transfer fee or we cannot, we can do it per transfer or per token. So while uh, you can play with this, uh, sometimes it's good to add, sometimes it's not, but here for this example, we are going to use 0 0.1, transfer fee value which means every item they try to move 0 0.1 ENG will be forced as a fee which means that the minimum value of this token is 0 0.1 plus the engine inside because in order to sell that item you will have to pay that fee Otherwise, you melt it and it's just this one. All right. So starting supply is 5,000 since we have set this to collapsing. And we can click create asset. Okay, please check your engine wallet. Now we have to approve the transaction from the engine wallet you go to request we hit create enter the password again and we are good you transaction all right in progress all right executed here is the astroman so if we click on it we have the asset name the asset description and here is where we place the image so this is the astroman this is our logo and I'm going to write a simple description. This mint took place to demonstrate how to mint or maybe let's say how to create non-fungible tokens on engines jumplet minted by eGamers.io find us on Twitter.
All right. So I click Save Changes. Asset is updated. It asks again to confirm. Boom, it's ready. We have done everything and now we click mint. So ready to mint it. Um, I'm going to mint this on this wallet. The same wallet I used to fund this. I'm going to mint 100 tokens. The first 100. These will have, this will be serial. They will have a number. So the rest of the tokens, I'm going to mint them in another wallet because I will use a QR beam to share these tokens with you. So mint asset, transaction pending approval. Once again, you have to confirm the transaction from your engine wallet. This time we click mint, type the password again. So as you understand, you have to do this three times. Okay, transaction is going through. Jumpnet is really fast, guys. I'm very excited about Jumpnet. Uh, the multiverse games are going to pick up. Okay, Astroman minted. All right, so let's check Astroman. Hmm. Let's go to here. Refresh. 10 minutes ago, circulating supply 100. If I click assets, whoop, here it is. Number two. All right, let's go back to projects. E-gamers collection. Assets. Here it is. Astroman. And this one is the first we minted on Jumpnet about a month ago. Okay, so guys, basically this is it. This is how you mint non-fungible tokens on engine. Very easy, very straightforward process. Uh, they, they are going to add GIFs and MP4 so you can mint video. There is a lot of, there is a lot of minting going on, definitely. And it will rise as the fees are literally zero on JumpNet. So we are going to see a wave of new non-fungible tokens getting mint here engine is the king of the nfts and they are here to stay thank you very much for watching this video i hope i helped you uh, please leave a comment subscribe if you like if you like it a lot click the notification bell and see you in the next videos don't forget to check the article it's below in the description step by step what we said here but written thank you very much guys have fun.